Good Friday. We come to this Good Friday in the year 2020 in the midst of global pandemic. We come to Good Friday and bring all of who we are and all that we are facing. We bring with us the tears of the world. Come as you are. Holy God, we come to worship in the gathering shadows of Jesus' suffering and death. We, we come, come with, with his friends, friends the, the men, men and women who have followed him in every place and generation, to live once again this story of service and betrayal, of weakness and courage. We come to witness your love in action. Be with us, O Lord, and give us the faith to follow you. from Isaiah chapter 53. He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by humankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom people hid their faces. He was despised, and we held him in low esteem. up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all.
was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent. So he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. Yet who of this generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people, he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offering and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Good Friday tradition has been giving to the cross, nailing to the cross, our prayers, our hopes, the things with, what, with which we are struggling that we would like to give to God. This Good Friday, as we cannot be together and do those activities, we want to invite you to do a coloring activity in your own home. We invite you to color your cross and while you are coloring it similarly to have it be a prayerful activity where you are pouring out your heart all the things that you are feeling all of the things that you are grieving all the things that you are missing all of the things that you want to give to god in your inner turmoil and struggle as well as your prayers and hopes and thanksgiving Give it to God. You may write words on yours if you would like, um, or just put color, that is up to you. We wanna invite you, if you would be so willing, to post your colored crosses on the church Facebook page that we might share in this activity together in a different way. And as we think about spending time in God's presence on this Good Friday, we wanna remember that God does invite us to come just as we are. So hear this poem by Ted Loder from Gorillas of Grace, How Shall I Pray? How shall I pray? Are tears prayers, Lord? Are screams prayers? Or groans, or sighs, or curses? Can trembling hands be lifted to you, or clenched fists, or the cold sweat that trickles down my back, or the cramps that knot my stomach? Will you accept my prayers, Lord, my real prayers? 
rooted in the muck and the mud and the rock of my life. And not just my pretty, cut flower, gracefully arranged bouquet of words. Will you accept me, Lord, as I really am? Messed up mixture of glory and grime. Lord, help me. Help me to trust that you do accept me as I am. That I may be done with self-condemnation and self-pity and accept myself. Help me to accept you as you are, Lord. Mysterious, hidden, strange, unknowable. And yet to trust that your madness is wiser than my timid, self-seeking sanities, and that nothing you've ever done has really been possible, so I may dare to be a little mad too. Amen. <laughs>